episode of the Love of Dave edition. You know, I just got done watching the Grammys, the nomination for 2010. Some things were good, some things unbelievable. I'm going to definitely get back with you to let you know, like, my little take on what I feel or who's going to might win later on. I'll do that, like, next year sometime. But I got to let you know who the nominees were because it was a really great show. LL Cool J did a good job. He opened up with a rap, did a really good little rapping thing. You know, he was on there trying to lick the lips and stuff like that. I was like, okay, LL, cut the game. Anyway, we got on with the first one. The first award that went on was the song of the year. We had Lady Gaga was nominated. Maxwell was nominated. Beyonce was nominated. Taylor Swift was nominated. And the Kings of Leon were nominated for their award. So it was really, really good. The Black Eyed Peas got up there. They sang their thing. I had a feeling. Woo-hoo. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It was nice. Then we had Sugar Land get out there. They did their little country thing. Did a little good job. Put a little twang on it. It was nice. Anyway, we had the best pop performance, which went to Black Eyed Peas. We had Bon Jovi, The Fray, um, Holland Oates, and OGMT were all up in that same nomination for the best pop performance. Then we went on for our best rock album. The nominees for that were ACDC, Eric Clapton, Green Day, Dave Matthews Band, and U2. Best rap solo, I have to let y'all know, went to uh, the nominees were Drake, Eminem, Jay-Z, Kid Cudi, and Most Def. I, like I said, I will let you know. I did not like, however, how T-Pain, he, had to, he always has to add his little two cents into the thing after he gets done presenting the award. He had to add his little, you know, you know young money, yeah, da, da, da. It didn't even take all that. I was like, okay, T-Pain, you could just go have a seat and let the people be honored for their nomination. It's not all about you all the time. Anyways, best country performance went to Brooks and uh, they didn't go to, but was nom- the nominees were Brooks and Dunn, the Zach Brown Band, Lady Antebellum, Rascal Flatts, and Sugarland. We'll see who comes home with that. Record of the Year, very happy again. Another nomination for Beyonce, Black Eyed Peas, Kings of Leon. Um, we also had Lady Gaga and Taylor Swift. Things like Taylor Swift and Beyonce are both racking up a lot of nominations in this 2010 Grammy, but we'll see how it all turns out towards the end. And then finally, they presented the album of the year, which went to Beyonce, Black Eyed Peas, Lady Gaga, Dave Matthews, and Taylor Swift. So I did a little further research, and um, I went on the Grammy website to find out more of the nominations of the things that interest me. There's so many different categories, so I just not, uh, narrowed it down to like the ones that I really, really enjoyed. So I'm going to go down the list. For the best female R&B artist, it was Beyonce, Melanie Fiona, um, Layla Hathaway, um, Lettucey, and Jasmine Sullivan all are in that category. For the best male R&B, we had Anthony Hamilton, Maxwell, Music Soul Child, Pleasure P, and Charlie Wilson. For the best R&B duo, we had Jamie Foxx and T-Pain, NDRE, and Music, Music and Mary J., we had um, Rand, uh, Robert Randolph and the Clark Sisters and Calvin Richardson and Ann Nesby. For the best contemporary R&B album, Beyonce, Jamie Foxx, Pleasure P, Trey Songs, and T-Pain. For the best gospel R&B. Now, I have to stop on this one, you guys. I have to just, come, I have to just bring it to a stop right here because this irritated me. Because if y'all remember, like, back on episode 17... I did a review on this album that was called Mary Mary The Sound. And let me let you know that Mary Mary The Sound is one of the best gospel albums that has ever been released. So I'm going to let you know that Mary Mary is one of my friend Heather's favorite, 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 one of the favorite groups that is out. I mean, of all the gospel people that's out, it's one of the best. And I'm not just saying this because I love Mary Mary and I have like almost every album except the Mary Mary Christmas one, which... If y'all want to send me something, you know, you can send me the Merry Merry Christmas, slip it to me in the mail, or do whatever you want to do, because that's the only album I don't have from them. But I'm letting you know that they really should have gotten nominated, but they were not in the best gospel R&B category. They were not in anything but one category for one song called God and Me. They were nominated for best R&B, uh, gospel R&B song. 
that troubles me, you guys. It really, really troubles me. Um, I was kind of upset. Mary Mary, I give you your props. I, I know y'all had a great year. I know there's plenty more to come. Y'all had the best album, hands down. I don't care what the Grammys say. Anyway, Heather Headley, Sherry Jones, J. Ma, Smokey Norfolk, and Kiki Sheard, who I do want to... Okay, I'm not supposed to tell you who I want to win. Anyway, Kiki Sheard is up. Uh, Kiara Sheard is up for Best Gospel R&B. Best New Artist went... Um, we had Zach Brown Band, Carrie Hilson, Boo. Um, MGMT, uh, Silver Sun Pickups, I think that's their name, and the Ting Ting. I really like uh, the Ting Tings. They're pretty cool. Best Female Pop, Adele, Beyonce, Katy Perry, Pink, and Taylor Swift. Like I said, Beyonce and Taylor Swift are going to be, their names are going to be really rolling on the 2010 um, awards a lot. Song of the Year, Poker Face, Pretty Wings, Single Ladies, uh, You, Somebody, and You Belong With Me. Of course, those are some great songs that came out this year. Best Male Pop Vocal, John Legend, Maxwell, Jason Mraz, Seal, and Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder is sticking in there, isn't it? He's sticking in there, you know what I'm saying? Best pop collabo, Bruce, Bruce Springsteen, Justin Timberlake, Jason Mraz, Willie Nelson, and Nora Jones, Taylor Swift, and um, somebody else's name that I can't read. Anyways, those are the ones that really matter to me that I really want to talk about with all these Grammy noms that are out. It's going to be an awesome, awesome 2010 Grammy Awards. It's going to be really enjoyable, and it's coming on even earlier this year, you guys. January 31st. You guys can tune in to watch the Grammy Awards on CBS. Make sure y'all are watching it. It's going to be a great, great show. It seems like it moves up every single year. But I also want to talk about really quick before I get out of here of all these great things that are going on in the music industry right now because there are so many things that I've been looking at as far as new music, which I heard today. Snoop Dogg came out with a song with Pharrell and Brandy today called Special. And it is a really, really great song, you guys. If you get a chance, Pop it in, listen to it. His album comes out on December 8th, along with Chris Brown's album, Graffiti, which is hitting the shelves. This is what I really wanted to talk about because Rihanna has come out with her album, and it peaked at number four on the chart. So it did not hit number one. It did not sell as well as Alan Lambert's album, which came in third. It did not sell as, as well as, guess who, got the top number one. Susan Boyle, of the one that sang on Britain's Got Talent, she sold 700, over 700,000 copies in the first week. The, the top female, the top female person um, that, has, that has sold all these records. Really great, Susan Boyle. Do your thing. Lady Gaga was fifth. Anyways, also I wanted to talk about how Beyonce has sold number one. She was the number one DVD sale for her I Am Yours, um, for her I Am Yours little DVD that she came out with. So congratulations, Beyonce, for what you're doing. Good job. Um, also, Fantasia. Fantasia will be coming out, listen, you guys, with a reality show, which will hit VH1 on January 11th. Make sure you guys tune in for that. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be called Fantasia for Real. So make sure y'all check that out. Anyhow, I would like to thank you for joining me for this deluxe edition. Make sure y'all are rating, commenting, and subscribing, and let me know what y'all think about all these Grammy noms that are out here, who you think is going to win. And I'm going to definitely let y'all know who I think is going to win real much later on. Thanks for tuning in to Good Luck Today edition. I will holler at y'all later. Come follow me. Come follow me. That's why I had to say. Come follow me. Come follow me. Come follow me. That's why I had to say. Come follow me. Come follow me.